Efforts are underway to start a new nonprofit organization to focus on workforce development, quality of life improvements, and branding for a 10 county region in southwest Missouri. And its leaders would be from the business world. Joe Hickman has more on the movement and why they think this new nonprofit is needed. The concept is to try and bring together movers and shakers from the business community and a 10 county area around Springfield to promote economic development. There are already individual towns and public entities doing that, but... You have public officials who are bound by their constituency. By adding a private group, it allows us to break down those walls and have a, um, a regional approach to economic development. And that's not to say that we won't be in communication, obviously, with the public sector. Of course, we, you know, we're, we're going to have to work alongside each other. But I think having the private sector lead this group is really what has been our problem in the past and why we haven't been able to accomplish some of these things before. Some of those problems include poverty, housing, crime, and child care, concerns that affect workforce recruitment and economic growth. And it was a report from a North Carolina-based firm commissioned by the Community Foundation of the Ozarks and the Hatch Charitable Family Foundation that showed how other areas had been successful addressing those problems with business-led groups. Places like Kansas City, Greensboro, North Carolina, and the Northwest Arkansas Council, where a group from the Ozarks visited to see how the towns of Fayetteville, Bentonville, Rogers, and Springdale decided to stop competing and start collaborating. What, out of necessity, they did was combine the four major cities to put their best foot forward when attracting new talent. My favorite example, I guess, really, is when Republic got Amazon. That's a win for everybody. We have great entertainment in Branson. We have an industrial base in Springfield where you have employees in Christian County. And so by combining those into one application whenever you're trying to recruit a business, it allows us to compete with other regions. The housing market, for example. Just because you have a wonderful business in an area, well, if you don't have the housing to be able to support it, then that's a problem. When it comes to promoting quality of life improvements, the goals include more nature trails and outdoor activities. But then there's also child care, education, and health care. And when it comes to branding... The, the region's ability to, to welcome new people moving into the area is something that we need to market. The catch, though, is this potential nonprofit of business leaders is only in its early stages and will need monetary support and participation from major companies like those listed on the Chamber of Commerce website. So it's far from a done deal. We've come up with a guideline and a framework to see if there is interest in this. Our goal is within the next couple of months to have that group together and then to start the conversations. Getting the buy-in from all of these groups that are individually trying to recruit people to see that it is uh, a rising tide lifts all ships. As far as, you know, when it'll be launched, if you will, I don't know exactly when. I would love to see, you know, within the six, next six months. And I, I think we've got great things coming. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.